Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Arab and the Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of October, general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like the person reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Love the Way You Lie by Eminem featuring Rihanna. Eminem happens to be a Libra and Rihanna is a Pisces. We are currently in Libra season, so you may find out about some type of deception and trickery from a love interest during this time frame. Also, you can be done with a Libra or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus individual. I want to also say before I get started that I've seen angel number 8. 47. So make sure you guys look up angel number 847. Read the message because I feel like there's additional messages there for you. Leave in the comment section how that number resonates for you. And if it resonates for you, I always check the comments and I always respond. Okay. So what I heard, and I'm not kidding, but I literally heard like, would you get a load of this guy? You know how somebody says like, get a load of this guy. Like, are you serious right now? I feel like this person keeps lying, keeps lying, keeps lying. And it's like, I don't even feel like you guys are upset. It's just more so one of those things like, you really think that I'm stupid. You really think that I'm not going to find out. You really keep saying it with a straight face. I feel like this is someone who could lie with a straight face. Because if you think about the name of the song, is love the way you lie. It's like, at this point, it's just entertainment. It's insulting, but it's entertainment, okay? Because it's like, how do you sit here with a straight face? And now you really want me to believe what you're saying. I don't believe what you're saying because I already know that you're lying. You're a liar and your pants on fire. <laughs> you got the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving night, the whole entire deck of tarot. I'm going to tell you with this also, at some point, you guys were always trying to run and rescue this person. Knights, they protect the kingdom. They're going to defend the kingdom, protect the kingdom. They're, they're going to go to war for the ones they love. So you could have always been jumping to their defense fighting on their behalf, but you realize, like, hell no. This person's a liar, and they keep getting caught in lies. Everything they do keeps getting exposed. Scorpio Aries energy here with the tower. The tower's major arcana, which is definite. So they're definitely getting exposed. I had to put a stick on Playboy, but because he was nude, nudity talks about exposure, so something's coming out. That's for sure. Um, you have a ten of swords, stabbed in the back, let down, let down a betrayed. I feel like you're definitely going to feel betrayed because you are swords. I feel like you're going to be betrayed or you feel like this person just time and time again because it's sword time and time and time and time again. This person just kept doing things. Um, but here's the thing about 10. It's like that's done after that. By that 10th sword, it's like, okay, it's over. It's over. I'm not even entertaining anything you got to say anymore. I'm just not doing it. Back of the deck, you have the page of wands. I feel like for a lot of y'all, you won't tell this person about yourself. Pages are messengers. You guys are going to tell this person about this, so that's why I feel like, and for some of y'all, it may come out a little spicy, because you got wands and that's fire. Your delivery may come out very spicy, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the star card. We'll get the card that comes before, and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers, okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the seven of cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered. This person's delusional as hell. And they got to be delusional to think that you guys don't understand what's going on. One thing about Aquarius is y'all, y'all quite witty. Okay, y'all y'all with the shits and y'all know what's up. So this person think that they can get one over on you like you delusional, like you an airhead. And the whole time, what they don't realize is that you are already two steps ahead of them. In this case, seven, hell, seven of cups. Also, something may be coming out within the next seven days, so within a week's time. I'm going to say again, I feel like you guys are going to, like, whenever you address it, it's going to be fiery. You see how you spitting fire? Maybe. I feel like the way you deliver your message or your rebuttal to something or you address something, it's going to be lit, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana again. It's a star. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers. I feel like you guys set up some boundaries, okay? Seven of the cups we just had, now you get the seven of wands. You guys have set up boundaries. For some of you all, for some of you all is definitely with a fire sign, Leo, Sage, Aries, okay? Let's go ahead. And look for, there you go, star. Hmm. So right in front of you, you have the sun. Something's coming to the light. And I did just say, some of you guys, it could be involved in a fire sign. It could be involved in a Leo. But whenever the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. And then the sun also shines a light on things that was hidden. So you, you were finding something out about this person. And I feel like you're going to address them. I, I really do. There's your energy, the star card. 
And then you have the King of Wands. I'm getting two messages with this. A, this could be you getting ready to address this person. And it ain't going to be nice. Look at his face. He pissed. He's livid. But also, I'm going to say again, you could definitely be done with a Leo because you got the sun. Oh, wow. You could definitely be done with a Leo. Now, I know this is Sag particularly, but it's a it's not a major arcana, so it can apply to any of the fire signs. A lot of y'all are dealing with a Leo or something happened in Leo season, July, August time frame, because you did have two sevens, right? Specifically in July, something could have happened and you're finding out about it now. Like something's coming to light by something that this person did in July and it's coming out now. Hmm, we, we're going to see what shows up with that. So, bottom of the deck, you have the world card. Travel this is for movement. Leo, again, strong Leo. Um, this Again, this person doesn't have to be a Leo sun. It could be moon, rising, and Venus. You also got a strong Leo in your chart. I feel like if you have a strong Leo in your chart, you're going to be tapping into that fiery energy. And you're going to light their ass up. I really do feel like that's the case. <laughs> y'all going to light their ass up. Do you hear me? I want you also to see on his chair, you see how there's dragons? And it's like the flames are coming out of their mouth. I'm telling you. You gonna light their ass up, boy. Bottom of the deck. Again, you have your energy here also. So again, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. I feel like for a lot of you all, whatever it is that you find out, that's going to determine whether or not you're gonna move forward with this person or move away from this person. Cause I feel like for a lot of you all, like when we seen that ten of swords earlier, you ain't even entertain stuff with this individual. Cause the, the whatever last little thing they did, that was that was a final nail in the coffin for a lot of you all. So let's part the deck. Yeah, whatever they did, it hurt your feelings. Or you're realizing like they never cared about your feelings to begin with for some of you all. Could be involved in a third party, I'm not going to lie, okay? Because you got three cups spilled over. And like I was saying, it could change and alter everything. Because five in numerology talks about changes, challenges, adventures, journeys. Whatever you find out, that's, you know... It's going to determine whether or not you're going to move forward with this person or move away. Some of you all, this person is going to be asking for some type of forgiveness. Major account of judgment. Bottom of the deck, yeah. So this somebody made a bad decision. The hair of fine and reverse towards energy. The hair of fine, people come to him for his wise counsel. In reverse, this person did not make wise decisions. Okay. Also, you got a five again. So someone's birthday could be in May or they have a five in their birthday, the 5th, the 15th, 25th. You could have been with this person for five years. I'm also here going on five years. This person, did they, they were making dumb decisions when it came to you or just things in general in life. And then you found out about it and you just, you just ain't rocking with it. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the sun. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. You need to clarify for the sun, for Aquarius, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, individuals. You got the justice card. In the back, you have the four of wands in reverse. So marriage, long-term commitment, union. Even if it's not marriage, it's someone that you were in union with, you lived with in the domestic capacity. This is going to choose what you're, whatever we found out, that's going to hold the fate of what's going on here. Because the justice card, like just in a piece, um, fair and honest treatment, you know, when you think about justice, you think about court systems. And when you go to court, you go to court so that you can get the truth out of a situation. And I feel like whatever, I, I'm going to say this again. I'm sorry that it sounds redundant, but you, whatever comes to light, that's what's going to be the turning point here. And it's going to help you make a decision. That sword, and you are sword, sword up here, right? So whatever you find out, it, you know, it's... It's not you. I'm going to tell you that right now. Whatever this is, it's not you. They doing some shit and you're going to find out about it. And they didn't think you would. Hmm. And do. So you got the page of cups. This person's emotionally immature. A lot of y'all are dealing with an emotionally immature person, male or female. Let's get it clear. And I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a female who did something real shady and sneaky behind a masculine's back. You see how he's looking very angry here. And also, even if you're a, fee, a feminine, you could be, you know, addressing something very assertively and very, you know, assertively and aggressively, like, with that masculine energy. Because I don't feel like you're about to play, play with this person at all. Let's get a clarify for the king of wands, okay? Back to that five of cups. So, yeah, something that you want to find out about is, is going to be, it's going to make you sad. Because you see how you got gray skies and it's like sad and gloomy. You're going to be sad about it. 
But the universe is like, you need to see it <clears throat> in order so you can make a decision about whether or not you want to continue to move forward with this and keep investing in this individual. Page of Wands. Yeah, some, some information is coming out, some communication. And again, pages are young, youthful. They got growing and expanding to do um, pages of messages. It seems like this person just keeps lying. I'm not going to lie. This, this person's a liar. They're immature. You had two pages, Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Um, their actions are very immature because wands is all about your actions. Cups, you, when we just seen the page of cups, emotionally they're immature. Their actions, they, they act on things immaturely. And then it causes those that they love or those that love them to hurt. But I feel like a lot of you all aren't going to cower or just sit and cry and, and, and boo-hoo over it. I do feel like some sadness initially, but I feel like overall, all they, all they did is made you boss up big time. They made you boss up big time. Or they're going to make you. Let's see what's at the back here. Death card in reverse, Scorpio. But, oh, we seen the, the hair font earlier, right? And this looks like the hair font to me. So, Scorpio, Taurus. Um, death upright. And this is major arcana, so it's definite. But death upright. And as soon as I say it, it's 11-11. So, this message, hear this part because it's, it's something important for somebody out there. Death upright talks about a definite ending. And reverse is not an ending. For some of you all... You may not wrap things up with this person. You may not end things possibly because there's a child or children involved here. You know? Also, some of you all could be thinking about going to um, family court or some type of child support court or something like that in um, Scorpio season. Like, you may already have a court date. Because you got Scorpio here, and this could possibly be Scorpio also. Can't spice Scorpio. And I feel like he's standing on business. Like, okay, if you put me in a third-party situation and you you ruined our family, not me. But this person is going to try to fight for the family. This, you know, this is a warrior. This person is going to try to fight for the family and say they don't want an ending. I feel like you're going to have a big decision to make with this, with this situation here. Some of you all, it's already ended. And then for others, it's like you may find, again, that something's coming to light. Something's going to come out. They've been lying like here. And all you want is the truth, justice. All you want is the truth. And they even gonna lie and say they're telling you the truth. <laughs> they're gonna add a little, like, say, for instance, you ask them, like, were you at work when you really said you were working? They're like, yeah, I was at work. And then a couple days later, you ask, like, I found out that you weren't at work. Like, why did you lie? They're like, I was at work, but I left a little bit early. They didn't, they didn't share that detail last time. And even that detail is bullshit because they probably didn't even go to work at all. They called off and tried to make it like they was at work, you know, didn't ask their phone all day, you know, bullshit. Gave you a whole narrative like, oh, it was real busy, so I couldn't call you. I couldn't respond to your text, couldn't respond to your calls. You know, some type of stuff like that. They're going to get exposed, though. They're going to get found out. That's that's just what we got here, okay? So, Aquarius, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.